Well, in terms of being a control freak, I think we are all control freaks with our, our babies, our, yeah. our projects, whatever they are. So at what point do you know that you can bring in an outside perspective um, because you are maybe too close to something yeah. mm -hmm. and, and you're overthinking things? Yeah. Well, we do it. I we mean, force ourselves to do it. Yeah, but we, we do it as, as early as possible. So whenever we, when we get a, when we get a draft of the script, so it's like, you know, draft. 20 or something. Um, and we've let a couple really trusted people look yeah, at it and give yeah. us some feedback, but we feel really comfortable yeah. with it. When we think like this could be a good movie, then we have a public reading. We just invite everyone that we can think of friends, families, foes, like whatever, you know, whoever's going to give industry, you, yeah, exactly. Yeah. People who've never seen a script before, people who are very familiar with it, and, and then get some actors in the, in the room and do a reading and then give them very targeted feedback forms, asking specific questions. I mean, you know, the, the general, like, how did you enjoy it? Rate characters from one to five, blah, blah. And then we have a cute, uh, question and answer just right. discussion live discussion yeah just to see like oh my god that makes no sense to anyone but us you know um, so we start there and then uh, you know hope, hopefully the people we work with would agree but we try to be very collaborative on every step of the process so when we're doing rehearsals of an act you know we're not married to anything like we just we just want the movie to be as good as it can be so if an actor comes with an idea that's better than anything we could come up with then yeah. boom that's a movie um, and we but, do the same in the edit process. Oh yeah, exactly. Well, and that's why I mean, working with another editor on This Is Ours was so transformative to the way that I work and think about movies. I, I tend to like when I direct something and then I cut it, I tend to be very much a different person in post. So that's why that's actually why I use a pseudonym, pseudonym when I edit because I feel like I'm a different person. So there, there are oftentimes Lindy will walk downstairs and I'm editing and I'm, I'm cursing Chris the director as Chris the editor, you know, because it's I, you know, but. Bring, bringing that extra person in post, she came up with ideas that I would never in a million years been able to conjure up on my own. Yeah. Um, but something that I say, because I, I say this to my students all the time as well, it's like, our creativity has limits. And the only way that you're going to make something better than what you can make by yourself is with other people. Yeah. Um, so yes, like have a vision, but be a lightning rod for good ideas and let people come in to the process and don't don't be afraid of it. Let, well, and I think it. It, I think it's only because we took a leap and tried it and it worked so well yeah. for us. <laughs> True, yeah. I mean, we got such great feedback and really and really found people that really want to make help us make a better product. And sometimes that meant for instance, in This Is Ours, we had someone tell us you should cut 12 minutes from the film. Yeah. And we were like, whoa, no, what? You don't understand what we're doing, <laughs> it, what? No. And then and then, uh, then after a, cute, a couple days, we are like, crap. That, that, That's that, a good idea. That note was one of those things that, like, <laughs> it was like a little bomb went off in our brains. Like, yeah. at first we're like, that's ridiculous. Those yeah. are our favorite scenes. We're not going to lose those. And then the, ne the next time we met with our editor, we're, we're watching that, that sequence comes on the screen and we're all, we all look at each other like, ah, oh, shit, she was right. <laughs> <laughs> but, and, and, but there is a point, and I, I do want to talk about this, because um, actually Joe and Bellagio had written about this when they were working with Cage, and, it, and I think it was Bellagio who wrote a blog about it. But there's this point where every artist, especially in a super collaborative form that we are in film, there's a point where you need to take it back. And so while there, while there, there's, there's, there's moments where we, where we reach out and we say, please give us your feedback and we're going to work together and we're going to listen to your ideas and that sort of, there becomes a point at the end of that where you're like, okay, enough, it's mine again. I will make the final choice. Mm -hmm. And there's, it's just knowing that and knowing when to do that because it is, it has to be your vision and you have to, you could listen to people tell you, give you feedback forever. Yes. Um, but there comes a point when you have to just stand your ground and say, this is my vision and this is the way it's going to be and this is why. But you went through that process to solidify that. Yeah. And, and, and when, you, when, you, when you have to, you know, argue for lack of a better word, um, debate your, your, why you do something or why you're not doing something, that just solidifies what, you know, what, what it ends up being. And there's that time where you take it back and you say, this is mine again. And I just, Bellagio wrote it so perfectly, that feeling as a, as a director to take that back. Yeah. Um, well, because what, what is being an artist, if nothing else, it's just making a choice. Yeah. To put the camera there or use this color paint or, you know, put and that. And people are not going to agree with every choice that we oh. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yes. But that's what, that's where, where hopefully that's our voice, you know, and that's, we're yeah. sticking with it. So. Yeah. Yep. <laughs>